So let's talk about some of the downsides of Google Culture Beds. They're not uh, all, you know, perfect. So uh, they're really cool, but um, there are some cons to doing them. And uh, one is they're labor and time intensive. You know, if you're, especially if you're doing a, the trench type, you know, it takes a lot to dig and trench and move soil. And, uh, you know, you gotta hunt down the materials and move a lot of wood to the site where it's at. So that's why people like to do the, the no dig ones where they just pile it up and then layer on top of that. But with that, you got to get soil from somewhere else. So um, that's why the trenching one is so effective because you just trench out whatever dirt or soil is in the area and then that goes on top once you're done. So these are things to think about. Uh, so and then disturbing the soil when you dig up like that and uh, completely uh, upturn the soil, it uh, signals the weeds to grow. And um, I have a short video of my uh, latest uh, community plot, community garden plot, that's showing exactly that, is that there's just a huge amount of weeds uh, popping up because when the soil is completely disturbed and dug out like that, then uh, it, the, the system just uh, it signals all of the little, all the little, uh, the the seeds of the weeds to start growing. So um, I don't really mind um, because you know I enjoy like pulling weeds and using them in different uh, parts. And uh, some of the weeds I let grow just for ground cover too, um, for a short time. And you know I'm constantly composting, and you know I'm trying. Pretty much every other day I'm at the community garden. Uh, you know, pulling weeds and stuff like that. So something to think about. And then also, right when you're done with them, they can be an ugly mound. Uh, you know, it's just like a dirt mound. And uh, so, you know, especially when you're doing these for other people, like friends or family, or maybe a client that you can do these for, um, you know, just explain to them how it's gonna look at the end, you know, because uh, a lot of people, all they care about is, you know, how things look. So that's something to keep in mind, um, especially if you're doing them for others. And if you need to dismantle them for whatever reason, um, you know, it takes a lot because you're putting a lot of material into it. So taking them apart is a big pain. Um, so just make sure you know where that, um, where you want them to go, where you want them, want them to be. Um, you want to, and then when you're trenching, you need to make sure what's underneath it, you know. Are you on top of a, uh, you know, any sewer pipes you need to call? And, uh, you know, I think in the U.S. it's like 811 or something like that. Um, you need to call and then they'll mark off like the power lines, any electrical, any um, water lines that are in the area, sewer. And, uh, you know, you know uh, like tel internet lines and stuff like that. So you need to know what's beneath and uh you need to be very careful because you know you don't want to hit a line and then uh have a huge mess or you know a disaster or, you know get electrocuted or something like that and uh another thing is like uh yeah sewer lines or septic tanks like you don't want them you might want to avoid uh, putting them on top of a septic tank if you ever need to uh i don't know get your tank pumped or worked on or anything like that so those are the, kind of the downsides of the beds. And uh, so for me, I liked, you know, the pros kind of outweigh the cons, but I am uh, starting to use and experiment more with no dig gardening, which is pretty much just, uh, I mean, some people just lay down cardboard and then do like five or six inches of mulch or compost right on top of that. And, uh, you know, you don't disturb any of the soil underneath. And uh, I've been, I've been starting to practice with that too, but I still like these Hugo culture mounds just because um, of the benefits that we talked about. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.